you recover all! My father. Say my father. My father. Say my father. My father. Every blood issue. Every blood issue. Every blood related issue. In my life. In my life. In my family. In my family. Tonight. Tonight. I break out. I break out. I say it again. Say tonight. Tonight. I break out. I break out. Listen. Listen. Listen, tonight I'm preaching on what I titled Blood is thicker than water. It's going to listen. There are matters that are bloodly related. When you are suffering from such kind of issues, it is difficult to stand and be a success without drawing from what is affecting you. Tonight I came to make you break out. Lift your hands, say, My father, my father, every problem with my bloodline, every problem with my bloodline, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I break out, I break out, fire the prayer. Ya na na 
quickly anywhere you are seated just pick your bible please stand on your feet with your bible let's read the scriptures genesis 49 are you there verse 3 genesis 49 verse 3 the bible said unstable as water you shall not excel <laughs> Talking, okay, verse 3. He said, Reuben, you are my firstborn. You are my what? You are my what? You are my firstborn. Am I right? He said, my might and the beginning of my strength. The excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. Now, this is verse 3 describing who Reuben is. And then in verse 4. Verse 4 he said, Unstable as water you shall not excel. Because you went up to your father's bed. Then you defiled it. He went up to my couch. Stretch your two hands. Father, every one of them under the sound of my voice. Those that are here those that are watching through the internet whatsoever affecting them from their father's house tonight I declare your deliverance is released Amen. I say your deliverance is released Amen. I say your deliverance is released Amen. if you can go to seven people and tell them your deliverance is released your own will be released right now Hallelujah. 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 The person with the loudest amen, you are coming out of family circle. Amen. I say you are coming out of family circle. Amen. I say you are coming out of family circle. Amen. I say you are coming out of family circle. Amen. 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 If you are here, your amen. Come out. Amen. If I hear your amen, come out. Amen. Hey, if I hear your amen, come out. Amen. If I hear your amen, come out. 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 Somebody say, I am out. I am out. Hear me. Blood is thicker than water. Where we read, the Bible was talking about a young man. A young man, his name was Reuben. Reuben was the first son of a man that came up. The name of the father of Reuben was who? Was who? Jacob. Am I right? 
Somebody say Jacob. Now, Reuben came up as the first son of Jacob. Reuben was supposed to be the first strength of Jacob. Reuben was supposed to be everything that God needed for a successor. Reuben was supposed to be the person that would take over from the lineage. When we hear the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, we should hear the God of Reuben. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? Reuben, by the nature of his birth, the Bible said when Jacob was talking, he said, you are my first strength. You are the dignity of the man who I am. But unstable as water. Unstable. This is your original destiny. But unstable as water you will be. Now there are 65 of you under the sound of my voice. Something has diverted something around you. The original definition of your life has been diverted somehow, somewhere. Tonight I return you back to your original purpose. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I return you back to your original purpose. If I hear seven amen, you are returning back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Somebody say my destiny, my destiny cannot be diverted. Cannot be diverted. Say my destiny, my destiny cannot be diverted. Cannot be diverted. Say my destiny, my destiny cannot be diverted. Cannot be diverted. A young man went to school in Nigeria. Went to school in Nigeria. After school here, can you hear me tonight? Went to school in Nigeria. After school in here, he traveled abroad to do masters. After doing masters abroad he did his phd the day he came out from the hall from the exams and he became a phd holder the next day he ran mad now this is destiny that was going to a direction all of a sudden he was diverted am i communicating here a young man a young lady last year christmas spirit was supposed to cover her, her her wedding she was growing up believing god fasting and praying for marriage Two days to her wedding, she had an accident, and the next day, the, the second day of the accident, which was supposed to be her wedding day, she died. Now, these are destinies on their way, going to where they want to go, but something intercepted. For you who is under the sound of my voice, nothing will intercept your destiny. If I hear your amen, your destiny is settled. Hey, hey, hey. I say, if I hear your amen, your destiny is settled. If I hear your amen, your destiny is settled. Lift your hand and shout that amen like thunder. Lift your hand and shout that amen like thunder. Lift your hand and shout that amen like thunder. Let me hear you shout amen. Take your seat. Take your seat. Last week I told you, give me some volume on this mic. Last week I told you, I said, t -t -t I, I said tonight I'm going to be dealing with deliverances on the head of the firstborns. Am I right? So if, whether you are here, whether you are a firstborn or not, you, uh, you can be here to represent the firstborn of your family. Am I preaching to somebody here? Reuben was the first son. Reuben was supposed to succeed, but Reuben did not ask questions about their family lineage. What was the lineage of the family of Reuben? The father of the fathers was Adam. In the lineage of Adam, first sons don't succeed. That was why Cain failed God. Cain was not a success. Cain killed the brother because firstborns, no matter what they do to succeed in that generation, they don't succeed. When Abraham gave birth to a first son, the first son of Abraham, his name was Is his name was Ishmael. Ishmael was the first son. When Ishmael was born, Abraham felt Ishmael was the promised child. But Abraham never knew that in their lineage, firstborns don't succeed. 
Ishmael was not accepted. Ishmael was supposed to be the heir. But when they talk about the God of Abraham, you don't talk about Ishmael, you talk about Isaac. In their bloodline, there is nothing you will do as a first son. Have you entered families? We are first sons, serve the younger people. It, it, it is most times first sons will begin well, train others. But when they get to a certain level, everything will crash for them. And the people they train will be the one that, that will now be insulting them and giving them little, little things. Am I communicating here? Am I communicating here? It don't, they don't succeed in that generation. Isaac was the second born, but Ishmael was the first son. Ishmael was supposed to carry the mandate, was supposed to carry the grace, was supposed to carry everything, but Ishmael could not carry. When, when Abraham was dying, am I communicating here? Give me another microphone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you hear me better? Now listen. When Abraham was about to die, Ishmael was nowhere to be found. Because by the destiny of the first sons, Ishmael had already left the house. Abraham settled Ishmael with a cup of water and a loaf of bread. Firstborn of a billionaire. Abraham was a rich man friend of God, he can be poor. Abraham could have started business for Ishmael's mother. But because firstborns don't succeed, the only thing they used to settle Ishmael. Don't touch the microphone again, it's okay. Don't touch it again, it's fine. Nobody should touch it. Look at me. The only thing they used to settle I, Ishmael was a, 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 a gallon of water and a loaf of bread. Why? Because firstborns can succeed. Even when he got into the wilderness, the Bible said the water dried. If not for the angel that intervened, he would have died in the wilderness. But when Abraham was about to die, Abraham began to share his wealth. Eliezer was his servant and plenty other servants. Abraham began to share. He said to this person, I give you my houses. I give you all the cattle. I give you all the land. I give you all the cars. He was busy sharing every inheritance he had. By the time he got to Isaac, all the property had finished. And as he began to cry, he said, Father, why will you share everything you have without giving me who is your son? And Abraham looked at him. He said to him, there is something they call the blessing. Listen. When the Bible said the blessing of the Lord make it rich, he's not talking about blessings. Cars are blessings. Houses are blessings. But there is something we call the blessing. It is the blessing that produces blessings. Am I preaching here? It is the blessing, the blessing, the blessing. I take a look at. It is the blessing. Abraham said, I may not have a car to give you. I may not have a land to give you. But there is something that made me Abraham. That thing that made me Abraham, I release upon you. Yes, sir. He released the blessing. He didn't give him a car. He gave him the blessing. In the next chapter, Isaac traveled to a place where the land could not produce. Famine was there. The land could not produce. The Bible said Isaac sold in that land in the year when people were not eating food. But his own germinated and he increased and prospered. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. There is something I call the blessing. When the blessing comes upon you, it will break every generational curse. Yeah. Oh my God, somebody is not hearing what I'm saying. Yes, sir. I was sharing with them in Port a few days ago, and I told them the foundation of the wealth God has laid in my hands. It 
it is not a function of hard work yeah. it is not a function of oratory yeah. it is not a function of anointing of power it is the function of a blessing that papa Omar spoke on my head yeah. when i was 17 years old yeah. that word has been carrying me till now yeah. talking about the blessing yeah. i told you the other day and i said to you yeah. one of the richest black man on earth yeah. how did he become rich i'm talking about aliko dangote yeah. he is not a christian he is a muslim yeah. how did he become rich one day somebody came to preach for archbishop person in dahosa i'm talking about tl osborne when he came to preach for idahosa in benin they were traveling back to america they got to the airport that evening every flight was fully booked and it also said to the owners of the aircraft he said please i have two guests that must fly to lagos and travel to the u.s this night and they told him every every there is no space it is full it the host has said to them can you allow me to talk to the passengers that are entering the plane maybe somebody can be touched by god but the host went inside the plane when everybody were seated it the host wore his abada and came up he said please my name is archbishop Benson it the i have two guests that should fly to lagos tonight and travel to the u.s if they don't go on this flight they will miss their international flight i beg you if there are two of you who can stand up for my guests to sit i will appreciate christians we are there believers we are there pastors were are there deacons were are there but nobody stood up it was aliko dangote and his assistant yeah. him and his pa yeah. the both of them stood up from the business class yeah. and said to itahosa yeah. your guest can come and sit here yeah. and itahosa looked at dangote yeah. and said to him because you stood up for me yeah. the whole world will stand up for you yeah. yes, that word that word that word Everything he is today is a function of that word. The word. The blessing. If I be your father. Yeah. I kneel on this altar. Yes, sir. Allah Tananda Shakala Barash. Any curse on your head, any curse on your father's head, any curse on your mother's head, any curse from your grandfather, I release a blessing upon you. 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 In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I carry my father's blessing. 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 I carry my father's blessing. Somebody shall fire. Yes, sir. And Amanda Shanda Bahata. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, carry the blessing. Say, carry the blessing. Carry the blessing. Say, carry the blessing. First bonds. They don't succeed. They don't. They don't. I understood this revelation. Early in life, I'm the firstborn. I began to pray that prayer. I said, What stop firstborns can't stop me? Whatever you see around me today is a function of revelation I got years back. Ishmael could not get it. Isaac gave birth to two sons Esau and Jacob. Inside the womb, God saw that Esau would be a hustler. God saw that Esau, you see Esau, Esau will be an inventor. Let me tell you who Esau is. Esau is a man that learns things that nobody taught him. In the lineage of the generations of Abraham, from Adam till down, nobody was a hunter. They were all shepherds and farmers. But when Esau he became a hunter. Who taught him how to hunt? He was a hustler. From the stomach. 
God saw that this guy had grace to hustle. But if I leave him with his hustling spirit, he will collect everything. But in their generation, first sons don't succeed. That was why when they were in the womb, the Lord spoke. He said, Esau, I hate. Jacob, I love. Somebody will ask me, is God partial? Why will God make that statement? Trace their lineage. God saw that first sons don't succeed. He said, there's no point. There's no point. There's no point. There is no point. It's all I hate. Jacob, I love. Jacob gave birth to 12 children. 12. The first son of Jacob was Reuben. But when Reuben saw his father naked, he could not cover the shame of the father. He took the father's friend and laid on the father's bed. Because first sons don't succeed. Instead of Jacob blessing Reuben, he began to curse him. He said, unstable as water. If you read the scripture, Reuben was dying, dying. Reuben was almost dead until Moses arrived. It was when Moses arrived in Deuteronomy that Moses made the statement. He said, who is that devil that have cursed Reuben? He said, from today I prophesy. He said, let Reuben live. Let Reuben live and not die. The word from the mouth of Moses revived him. If you are here, you have four of your brothers that live abroad. Four of them, come out, let me pray for you. You have four of your brothers, run to me quickly. You have four of your brothers abroad. Four of them abroad. Four. How many do you have? Eh? I mean four. How many do you have? Eh? Four on the door of your brothers. How many do you have? Four. Are they your biological brothers? From your, your mother's womb? Four of them. Stand here. Four of them from your mother's womb? No. Go back. You have four from your mother's womb. Eh? They live abroad from your mother's womb. Lift your hands and say, My father, every issue is fighting me. Fighting me. Look at me. I, 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 I see plenty of children in your mother's house. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, even up to eleven. How many are you? 11. Eh? 8 boys. 3 girls. Now look at what the Lord said. All the four of them. Who is doing well? He brought others. Brought others. But since he brought others, things are blocked. Everywhere is closed. The first one is there. Second one is there. Four of them. Are they in an Asian country? Where yes. are they? Qatar. Qatar, Italy. Three of them are in Qatar. Three Why? of them are in Qatar. Three is Qatar, Qatar an Asian country? No. Lift your right hand. Give somebody that is for Lift your right hand. Say after me, say, Father. Every curse, Every curse hanging on my brother's head in the name of Jesus tonight be broken. Say it again. Say be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Look at two people speaking and saying that nothing will happen. Four people struggling from hand to mouth. They call the people on the phone and they talk like all is well. But nothing is happening. Among 11 children, everybody is in the same level. That devil is a liar. I brought the yoke now. Yay. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Is this your first son? Eh? Is this your first son? There's a curse over first sons in your husband's house. Do you know? Do you know? 
You know about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Because I, I, I see, I see, I hear something like, is it most it? Yes, sir. Is it, is it Umwaka? Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Is, is your husband from Umwaka? Yes, sir. Is it Ibeque's family? Yes, sir. Is it, is it, is the name of this boy Dojuku? Yes, sir. Bring it for me. Jesus, help me. Please go and lie down on the altar. Shalaba Shandaba. You are the Lord in three persons. Blessed Trinity. You are the Lord in three persons. Blessed Trinity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Of us. I hear something like Akuchu. Akuchiopi. Akuchiopi or something. Akujiobi, Akujiobi. Are you Akujiobi? Can I pray for you? Eh? Yes, sir. That devil is a liar. Amen. Power is upon you, Holy Spirit. Dark breeze. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. The rock holds me. The rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock of God. Madam, 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 I see a conspiracy. I see three people who you tell everything you do. They are not happy. I see three of them. They work with you. Two of them are in your branch. One is outside your branch. Are you a banker? Eh? Yes, sir. Stop crying. Are you a banker? Yes, sir. Is this Sky Bank? Yes, sir. I saw in the realm of the spirit. I saw three of them having a secret meeting. Have you seen me before? Is it your first time of coming? Uh, this is my uh, second time. Your second time, time, first time of, of seeing me. Yeah. Who invited you? No one. You just came on your own. Yes, sir. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds, not the rock holds me. me. The rock holds me, and the rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock of God. Every conspiracy against you tonight, they are cancelled. If you say amen, 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 they are cancelled. Somebody shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Madam, you are the you are the bread. You are the light. You are the light, you are the bread, you are the salt, you are the everything. Am I talking? All eyes are on you. If anything goes wrong with your job now, there will be a trouble. Things will crash. Family will go, will go, will relegate. Because you are the one carrying everything. You are like a man. A woman, but the burden of a man is on your shoulder. Stop crying. Madam, those who want to, because... I saw you enter into a level of query, and I saw you from that query. They say go on suspension, and I see from the suspension, you are not required as, as a service person here. And they, it will happen. It will happen in such a way that when they release you that way, you will not get a job in another bank. But the Holy Ghost said to me tonight that their meeting they have been doing, He is putting confusion in their midst. Anything they are planning against you, I return it back to them. If I be a prophet of God, who I know I am today, I give them 14 days. They will make a mistake and they will be sat from the office. Anything they wish you, I return it back to them. If you shout three amen and one fire, it is settled. Two. Three, shot fire! Jacob was old. Am I right? 
By that time, Joseph was in Israel, was in Egypt, has lived in Egypt for years, had a wife, had children. So when they brought Jacob from where he was to Egypt to stay in Goshen, Joseph brought his two sons for his father to bless them. Now look at me. Read that scripture for me. And Joseph took them both. And Joseph took them both. Two of you come. These two children come. Two of you come. Go ahead. Ephraim in his right hand. Ephraim in his right hand. Toward Israel's left hand. Come. This is Ephraim. Eh? In his right hand. Which is the first son. This, so, this is my right hand. So you took Ephraim to my right hand. For me to bless. Go ahead. Toward Israel's left hand. And Manasseh in his left hand toward Israel's right hand. So who was the firstborn? Manasseh. He took Ephraim on his right hand towards Jacob's left hand. And he took Manasseh on his left hand towards Jacob's right, right hand. hand. So meaning that Manasseh was the firstborn, he took him to his father's right hand for him to bless. And he took Ephraim to the left hand for the father to be so blessed. Now what happened? And brought them near unto him. And brought them near unto him. Verse what are you reading? Verse 14 now. Yeah, go ahead. And Israel stretched out his right hand. And Israel stretched out his right hand. And laid it upon Ephraim's head. And laid it upon Ephraim's head. Who was the younger? Who was the younger? And his left hand. And his left hand. Upon Manasseh's head. Upon Manasseh's head. Guiding his hand within him. Guiding his hand within like this. Go to, go to verse 17. Look at what happened. Look at what Joseph said. Verse 17. Uh -huh. And when Joseph saw that... And when Joseph saw what his father was doing... His father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim. Uh -huh. it, pleased, it displeased him. It displeased him. And he held up his father's hand. And he took his father's hand. To remove it from... He Ephraim. wanted to remove it from, the, from Ephraim's hand. Uh -huh. Ephraim's hand. Uh -huh. Unto Manasseh's head. Unto Manasseh's head. What happened? And Joseph said unto his and father. And Joseph said to his father. Not so. Not so. You don't do it. You are, you, are, you are about to bless my second son as the first son. Please don't do it. What happened? My father. My father. For this is the firstborn. For this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his Put head. Put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused. And his father refused. By this time, his father was blind. By this time, his father was not seen who was standing before them. But when the father lifted his hand to bless, they cursed upon the firstborn thy father. Diverted it. Joseph immediately saw. He said, Papa, listen. The Bible said he even took his father's hand. He took it. He said, Papa, don't do this. Don't do this. But his father could not listen. He began to bless. He began to bless. He began to bless. Why? In their lineage, firstborns don't succeed. When Judah impregnated a girl in Genesis chapter 30, impregnated the daughter in law, her name was Tama. The Bible says she became pregnant with twins. With how many twins? With how many? Two twins. Then their names were Perez and Zara. When the woman was about to give birth to the twins, the Bible said the firstborn brought out his hand and the nurses tied the hand and said, For this is the first. But before he came out, the second drew him in and came out first and said, Firstborn, don't succeed here. Any cross hanging on your head, any cross hanging on your father's head, any cross hanging on your family, any power that has vowed that nothing good will come out of you, any cross hanging on your head, any cross that is speaking against you, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy they are broken. 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 Lift your hand. 
flash of fire. fire. Yes, sir. Look at me. Look at me. Sir. God told you. Make I talk. Make I talk. God told Samuel. He said, carry the horn of oil. Enter the house of Jesse. For I have anointed myself a king. He didn't say, for I will anoint. He said, for I have anointed myself a king. Hey! In those days, the quality that makes you a king is number one, you must be tall. Number two, you must have cassava blood chest. Number two, you must be a giant and an army. So, I understand for you to be a king or stay with the king, you must be very hefty. That was why God chose Saul because Saul was the tallest man in Israel. So the man that should replace Saul should be a tall man too. That was why when they wanted people to come and serve the king as the guard, they had to put him inside and give them food to eat. Daniel and his friends. Daniel said, I will not eat the king's food. I will eat vegetable. Why? They were looking for people that their chest will come out so they can stay with the king. So you must have a big chest and be very tall before you be a king or before you stay with the king. That was why when Daniel ate the vegetable, after eating vegetable, he became so large. His chest was so big. That was why when they threw Daniel into the lion's den, the lion saw his chest and they comported because God has fed him and made him bigger. He was intimidating to the lions. Somebody say, I hear. Scratch your head, say, I hear. Shake your leg and shout fire. Shout up on your feet and shout fire. Shout fire. Shout fire. Take it up. So look at this. Can I preach here? So look at this. He carried the oil. When he entered, the reason why God anointed David by himself before Samuel arrived was because if Samuel goes, Samuel would judge by the qualities that should attract the king. When he saw Eliab, the first son of Jesse, the Bible said he lifted up the oil, number one. Number two, he said, surely this is he. He never knew that in their lineage, firstborns don't succeed. They don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. Eliab was to be the king that would replace him. But when God saw that firstborns don't succeed, he carried it and gave a little boy who was short, who was an Abino. You know Abino? Fair until the fairness entered his eyes. He can't see well in the sun. Even when he was fighting Goliath, he was doing like this. How do I know? Scripture said David was ruddy in color. Ruddy means he was so fair that he became red. So he was an abino. Am I preaching here tonight? Watch this. He took it and he said, Let me pour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He poured the oil on earlier, but the oil refused to flow because firstborns don't succeed. Lift your right hand and place on your head. Holy Spirit, every blood related issue attacking them, attacking their life, attacking their family. In the name of Jesus, tonight I release you. 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 Lift your hand and shout that amen like thunder. 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 Blood is thicker than water. Some people say if any man is in Christ, 
is a new creation. All things have passed away. All things have become new. I agree. And they tell you there's no point fighting family battle. It's a lie. You are born again. You still answer your father's name. Your name is not Chidi Jesus. Your name is Chidi Benado. So you still answer your father's name. You still suck from the blood of your father. The blood of your father runs in your vein. Generational things are possible. But what that scripture means is that if any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are new. What it means is now you have a platform which is Jesus. You can stand on that platform and confront the battles of your family. And, 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 and on the platform of Jesus, there is no failure. It is a battle that you know that you are winning before you begin. So, but as for the battle, you need to fight the battle. And that is what we are doing here tonight. You can see, when there are things that run in the blood, you cannot run away from it. Except the grace of God breaks you out of it. Yes, sir. Have you seen men that beat their wife? Trace their family. Their fathers were beating their mother. Their grandfather was beating their great grandmother. There are families they will enter. Their own is divorce. You cannot stay without that. You enter brother divorce, sister divorce, auntie divorce, mama divorce. Everybody is divorcing. No matter how you try, the thing that brings divorce must come because it runs in the blood. The blood is thicker than water. In Abraham's family, Abrahamic family was a barren family. Very barren. Sarah was not barren in her father's house. Sarah was fruitful. But as soon as he, she entered Abraham's family, she became barren. It was in Abraham. It became barren. There are some problems you suffer because of where you entered as a wife. Some other problems you suffer as a result of the wife where you went to marry her. Is the teaching for another day? Bible, Bible. There are matters you you are under support and not about. That is why it is always good to pray before you entangle, mingle, but don't entangle without prayer. Sarah was fruitful when Sarah entered the house. She became barren for twenty-five years. When Sarah died, Isaac was crying. A one man went to bring a, a, a girl, a lady. When they brought the lady, the Bible said when she entered, Isaac was comforted because Rebecca looked like the mother. When Rebecca entered Isaac's family, Rebecca also became barren for 20 years. She was fruitful in her father's house. But when she entered Abrahamic life, she became barren for 20 years. 20 years she was barren. When Isaac eventually came back to Esau and Jacob, Jacob married two wives, Leah and Rachel. Two of them entered and they became barren together. You don't know they were barren. <laughs> we read the Bible. The Bible said Leah, Leah had first child, second child, third child. But Leah had ten children before Rebecca had two. Am I right? But both of them, we are barren. How do I know? Scripture said when the Lord saw that Leah was hated, God opened her womb, meaning that her womb was closed before. So both Leah and Rachel, we are barren. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. Wait, wait. It was barrenness. Isn't their lineage? Barrenness. 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 It trends down to Ruth. Ruth married and did not have a child until the husband died. It was when she remarried with Boaz that she produced the child. In the same tribe. In the same tribe, are you barren? There are family barrennesses. There are family. Listen, when I talk, when I talk about family issues, I am. I, I know what I'm saying. Am I communicating? My family has one one boys. It is a law in my father's house. My dad is a bishop. These are my sisters here. Wave your hands. They are my sisters from my village. My people. They know me from my. My grandfather was a, a prophet. My great grandfather was a pastor. I'm the fifth generational pastor. But five generations, one one boy, they don't have more than one. It does not happen. Pastors and prophets, my dad is a bishop. Yet, with all their prayers, it cannot break. I am the only child of my parents. 
when I came up, I saw this revelation and I began to ask God, what will I do to break it? And when God showed me what to do, it was too big and I said to myself, can I do this? It was a heavy sacrifice. God said, let it go. I told my wife, we cried together. If I tell you what, if I tell you, the, God said, do this sacrifice, do it to seven places. Do this, do this. And I took, I gave, I took, I gave, I took. Like a crazy, I had projects. And I did it. And at the end of it, God said to me, I don't owe people. You can't do what I told you to do and I don't do my own. And when, 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 am I communicating here? People celebrate. Ah, mama, mama, mama gave birth to two boys. Congratulations. Mama gave birth to twins. Two. I'm going to the US on Sunday to bring them back. Am I communicating? So, mama gave birth to. When you be, be, be in front of every miracle, there is a price. We live in a generation where people don't want to pay price and they need a miracle. Pastors preach giving and yet they are stingy. <laughs> you preach tight, you don't tight. You are tightening your doors. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. The rock holds me, the rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock. Listen, I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. I broke it. I don't teach what I don't do. I do before I teach. Some people look at me in church and they think I'm a fool. I give like a stupid man. I give. I, I they think I'm, I'm stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm not foolish. These are principles that must be kept. Why the crusade in Portacot? Three days program. The hall we used, if I tell you how much you paid, you'll be shocked. On Stadium Road, the people all over town spent millions. At the end of the three days, God said, don't take a dime from the meeting. And we finished it. Shared the grace. People met me. They said, we don't understand. How can you do this? You didn't even talk about seed. I said, no, God said, do it. This is seed. We did our crusades this January. Or G crusade. Aquacuma crusade. God said, do the crusades. Don't take seed. In our in G crusade. We did it. Massive meeting. Millions were spent. Until you get to that realm in life, you can't break some yokes. There are yokes that hang on your neck. Fasting and prayer don't break it. Because they did not bring it upon you by fasting. They brought it by a sacrifice. It takes sacrifices to swallow sacrifices. It takes a sacrifice to swallow a sacrifice. A man went to somewhere and killed five goats for you. And then you go and declare fasting. You are wasting your time. I told I told Dora, many of us know the, the former of that chief. When I was preaching for, for an Anglican church, the former minister of power was doing thanksgiving. In Asokoro, I was preaching. She walked in. I didn't know she was Dora. And, and the Lord opened my eyes. I saw the lady coming. I saw 11 arrows. I saw cancer from 11 people. I called her. I said, God said to me, 11 Absa people travel to Kuwait with your name. And they want to come to you that when it comes upon you, you can't survive it. She said, what do I do? I said, take 11 million give 11 of one jobs, one one million and redeem it redeem your life and return it back to them she said yes sir i left she didn't do what i said she thought it was a prayer thing these are principles native doctors they throw calories their god is far when they kill a fowl and the blood drops their god arrives spirits but when both good and bad spirit respond to blood blood brings the presence of god Blood brings the presence of bad spirits in their kingdom. I'm teaching now. That was why the Lord said, when I see the blood, I will pass over. 
when God wanted to kill Moses, God was coming to kill Moses. The, the wife of Moses, Zipporah, sends the anger of God. Scripture said she went and cut off the first skin of their first son, carried the blood and sprinkled upon the first son. When God entered with knife, God wanted to kill. God saw blood and God went back. Why? Blood makes God change his mind. This is this I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. The rock holds me, and the rock holds me. I hold not the rock, but the rock holds me. I'm standing on the rock of God. I came to break you. You don't know where it was done. You don't know who did it, but we'll break it. It takes a man to do a thing. It takes another man to break it. Lift up your hands. Brutal families. In Abrahamic family, they were all believers, but they were all liars. Brought Pastor Toja. They were pastors, but they were liars. Abraham was going with the wife to a country. The king said, who is this? He said, it's my sister. He lied. Isaac was not born then. When Isaac was born, later, Isaac was going with the wife to the country too. The king said, who is this? Isaac said, it's my sister. Isaac also lied. The same thing that attacked the father and he lied, attacked him and he also lied because lies is in the blood. There are people, their lies better, is sweeter than truth. If they package lie and lie their lie, you will lie the lie. Even in their good morning, there is a lie inside. Believers is in the blood. In the blood. Isaac lied. Jacob lied to Isaac. He said, My name is Esau. I am Jacob. I am Esau. I'm not Jacob. While he was Jacob. When Jacob had children, he had 12 children. 10 of them connived to lie to him. They said, our brother Jacob has been killed by an animal, whereas they sold him. He's in the blood. He's in the blood. He's in the blood. He's in the blood. Liars. Liars. In their generation, they don't, they, if you are a dark woman, they don't have business with you. They have business with only fair and beautiful woman. Abraham married Sarah because she was fair and beautiful. When they brought Rebecca, the scripture said Isaac saw her and saw that she was fair and beautiful like the mother and as his soul was comforted. The reason Jacob was fighting for Rachel was because Leah was dark, Rachel was fair. So that is why sometimes there are men that are listening to me. You are attracted to fair ladies. But your wife is dark. That's why you are always outside. You can't, you can't stay with her anymore. Because in your bloodline, you, are, you don't have attraction for dark people. You married her when there was no money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Before you do anything, consider your bloodline. Can I close? Can I say more? In the family of Abraham, they don't stay with one woman. There must be extramarital affairs. It's in the blood. He could not stay with Sarah. Every day he was eyeing Hagar. If Hagar passed, Abraham would do like this. He passed Abraham with him. How do I know? The Bible said, when, when Sarah said to Abraham, have you considered her guy my maid? Sleep with her. Maybe she is the one that will bring the Messiah we are waiting for. Abraham said, yes, ma. I was expecting Abraham to say, how can you say I should sleep with a maid? But because he has been desiring it and waiting for Sarah's permission, as soon as Sarah spoke, he said, I, God, God has spoken through you. 
the next verse he went in unto Hagar because he's in their blood Isaac escaped it it happened to Jacob when it happened to Jacob Jacob had children off your phone is China off it amen off it is China turn it off look at this it happened to Jacob happened to Jacob Jacob could not stay with one he stayed with two two sisters in the same house marrying them does it happen marrying two sisters alive at the same time I used to tell my mother-in-law, I'll come and buy another bride price and she'll be dodging her face. I might come with you. Somebody's out here. I see my hold, not the rock, but the rock holds me. Wait. Listen. He, 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 When Jacob gave birth to 12 sons, Judah, who is the choosing one? You know, we have the lion of the tribe of Judah. That Judah tribe is the Abrahamic tribe. Judah had to sleep with the daughter-in-law on the road as a harlot because his tramarital affair did their blood. It was going like that. It was happening, happening until the time of David. David saw a woman that was buffing outside, called her, slept with her, impregnated her, and killed the husband. Because he's in their blood. He gave birth to Solomon. Solomon closed the book. Took 1,000. He's in the blood. So tonight, what am I preaching? I came here to tell you to sit down before we pray. I'm going to give you two minutes to close your eyes. Think about your father's life. Think about your grandfather's life if you saw him. Things you heard about him. Think about what is happening in your brother's life. You are a woman. How did your mother marry? Do they have children in the house before they marry? Now, you are going to consider your family before we pray. Are you ready? Sit down and close your eyes. Lift your hands. Place on your head. Those of you watching us by television, those of you watching through the internet, Time to liberate yourself. Anywhere you're watching from, from Canada, from America, from Malaysia, from Lagos, from Canada, from anywhere you're watching from, the grace will hit you there as you pray right now. Place your right hand on your head, everybody. Say after me, say, Father. You are not shouting. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. My father, every family cause, every family cause, every family barrier, every family barrier, every issue in my family, every issue in my family that is fighting my life, every blood related issue, every blood related issue in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Holy. I prophesy, I prophesy today, today. I break out. I break out. I break out. Every family barrier. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Let me hear you say three amen or one fire. Amen. Two. Amen. Three. Amen. Fire. Father. I come before your altar. I come before your altar. Every cross. Every cross. Hanging on my head. Hanging on my head. As the first song. As the first song. Tonight. Tonight. I liberate myself. I liberate myself. Fire prayer. 
Igana na matna ka suprele ke ko sekrane na dama na kosha ayana na marodo bolo ko shiade le ko siprane akataya ayana na mo shiprane e anago soprane agada manda na ma suprele ke de ko shikrata na ma masete ayana ne ne ko selele le kosha akata suprele de iana suprana de ke kalandi angada dalande landa la karasha akoshe ke ete ko Arata, Ipototosa, Yegedekush, Atarakata Supra, In Jesus' name. Amen. Say three amen and one fire. Amen. 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 Fire. Thank you for watching the Moment of Glory broadcast with Evangelist Chidi Ibenado. You can also watch our live streaming services on our Facebook page tagged Evangelist Chidi Ibenado Ministries.